Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Children liking cars in Western Armenia began to freeze. Azerbaijan constantly refuses to implement the decision of the European Court of Human Rights. Arman Tatoya left for Suning. Azerbaijani servicemen exploded on a mine on Baranda Fizuli. Renovated Park of Ahal Kalak, Expectation and Reality. Educational and cultural life in Western Armenia after the mid 19th century. 850th anniversary of the death of the poet Nerses Nurhali was included in the UNESCO calendar for 2022 2023. 19 year old Arthur Grigorian won the international piano competition. One of the most important lakes in Kars of Western Armenia, Lake Childer, began to freeze due to the fact that the temperature dropped below 0 to 12 degrees. In the near future, in parallel with the decrease in temperature, the lake will be completely covered with ice. Azerbaijan has not implemented at least one decision of European Court of Human Rights regarding the Armenians abducted and captured at the different times. Can we expect more from a country that refuses to ensure even the right of its own citizen to a fair trial? And aren't there any control mechanisms? In case of non compliance of the decision made by the European Court, the issue is investigated by the Committee of Ministers. Currently, there are about 10,000 unfulfilled decisions by various states, but a first binding decision of the Committee of Ministers concerns Azerbaijan. Baku's irresponsible behavior may lead to the deprivation of the voice of the Council of Europe and then to the ending of the membership. The Ombudsman of Armenia will be in the Sunik region together with the staff. Research will be conducted in different directions. Armenian Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan left for Sunik together with his staff. Tatoyan published this information on his Facebook page. It should be recalled that Azerbaijani customs posts have been installed on the Goris Kapan and Kapan Chakat and Rons since November 11 and November 15. On November 19, Arman Tatoyan stressed that in Sunik region, as a result of Azerbaijani's illegal actions on the Kapan Chakat and Road in six villages, arrest uncertainty and humanitarian problems. As a result of 44-day war in Artsakh, Azerbaijani servicemen were wounded in Varanda Fizuli, which come under the Azerbaijani control. As Sputnik Armenia reports, Sputnik Azerbaijan reports with reference to the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Azerbaijan, the incident occurred during service in this territory. As a result of the mine explosion, two servicemen were taken to the hospital. It should be noted that after the war, similar incidents occurred frequently in the territories of Artsakh, controlled by Azerbaijan. The first case occurred in December 14, 2020, on Ardam, when one Azerbaijan was killed and other two were injured as a result of the mine explosion. The company new project has completed reconstruction work in a central park, Khas Bakhcha, in Akhal Kalak, but the park again does not look well groomed and beautiful. The company new project carried out reconstruction work on the park in the amount of 279,000 lari. According to the restoration project, the asphalt in the Khas Bakhcha park was to be replaced with tiles, as well as the fountain was to be repaired and sports facilities installed. The reconstruction work was supposed to last three months, but it lasts seven months. The company the park has completed its business, but a work in the park has not been completed yet. It remains to complete the lightning and clear the territory, both before the renovation and now there is an overall design in the park. The Khas Bakhcha park was last renovated in 2015. Akhal Kalak's park is 140 years old. It was founded by Stepanos Ananikian. We present some information about the social and educational life in Western Armenia. Since the middle of the 19th century, the Armenian education and social life of Marash has experienced significant progress. The economic life of Marash Armenians is changing significantly. Some privileges are being introduced and changes are being made in public life. The Armenians of Marash, although slowly, are being too slow more interested in studying and education. A higher school named Lyceum is open near the Sarkish church. The first priority was to illuminate the people. Libraries are being founded, audiences are being organized to illuminate the thoughts of the people through oral speech, sermons, the series taking its first steps, music, singing are included in a circular and choirs are being composed. It is noteworthy that a front organization of the Armenians of Marash were mainly the result of the youth initiative. However, the Ottoman government does not appreciate any use or other kind of group, regardless of the purpose. In particular, in the mid 1890s, during the years of increasing national pressure, persecution and arrests are not lacking. This is the reason that all educational manuals of Marash Armenians mainly relate to the period of 1880 1895. 
We are pleased to announce that 850th anniversary of the death of the great Armenian singer, poet, mesologist, composer Neseh Norhali has entered the calendar of famous people and important events during the 41st session of the UNESCO General Conference from 2022-2023. The application was supposed by Cyprus, Italy, Greece and Syrian Arab Republic. Artur Grigoran, a 19-year-old student of Yerevan Conservatory, took the first place in an international piano competition. Hundreds of musicians from 33 countries of the world took part in the competition. The performance from Verdi's opera Rigoletto was recognized as the best of his performances. The pianist took first place and received a special prize of annual scholarship $90,000 for studying at the University of East Tennessee. The pianist plans to take part in the International Harmonium Competition, where he will play for the first time in the category of 1935 years. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.